Embrace the magic. Ah, mirror image, a timeless classic. In both D&D and BG3, you get three images. However, in D&D, there's a chance that one of your images gets targeted, and then the enemy has to hit an AC of 10 plus dex. In Baldur's Gate 3, however, you get an additional plus three AC for each image, and every time an attack is evaded, you lose one of the images. Hmm. So as you can see here, Shadowheart has 18 AC and she uses mirror image and now Shadow my heart 27 AC oh my However, don't get too excited because in one turn weak hits from little goblins can destroy all your images What do you think of this change? Okay, Crown of Madness. Well, you must be really mad to use this in D&D because it requires an action on your turn to command the enemy and it gets a save every turn. However, in Baldur's Gate 3, it's a lot more exciting. Not only does it seek the nearest foe, which can be an ally or enemy, but you don't have to control it. And there's no extra saves during the three turns. So, Phantasmo Force. Oh my, look at that description. It takes so much writing on my spellbook. Anyways, Baldur's Gate 3, the way they implement it, they, it deals 1d6 psychic damage every turn while the creature believes in it. However, there is a twist that when you do another type of damage, like fire for example, the psychic damage gets turned into fire as if the enemy believes it is now being burned to a crisp. So very interesting. How would you use this to your advantage? Ah, I know what you must be thinking. The spell can't be that much different in Baldur's Gate 3, right? And yes, for the most part, they do behave in the same way. You detect thoughts which can help you in many dialogues. It's important that you do concentrate on the tech thoughts beforehand. It is concentration, but it lasts until the long rest. However, the catch here is, I have not seen any wisdom saves made for when you are probing, let's say, deeper into their minds. And it is not exactly a contested intelligence check. It's basically a DC that you have to pass. Overall, though, a very interesting proposition. Hmm, Flaming Sphere. You do 2d6 damage every turn, just like in D&D. In Baldur's Gate 3, however, so far it is treated as a summon with its separate initiative and 50 health points. Hmm. Also, apparently it can tank some hits. Hello, Larian. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So yes, it is very much similar in Baldur's Gate 3 in D&D. You basically, you cast the spell and both enemies and allies alike, if you don't have Devil's Sight, you will not be able to see within the spell. However, there is a curiosity here. You cannot target ranged attacks within the darkness, which, even if you have Devil's Sight, is still not permitted, as can be seen by Will in this clip. I wonder if this will get changed.
So Flame Blade is an interesting spell. It does 3d6 damage and it's concentration. But it's not only druids that get, can get it. You can also be a sub-race of Tiefling and have this power at level 5. And this is what I tried to do here, I thought. How about we try Flame Blade as a level 5 fighter to see if we get extra attack. But apparently it's implemented correctly in the sense that in D&D and in Baldur's Gate 3, you do not get an extra attack since it is an action to use. However, if you equip it in your offhand, you can use it as a bonus action. So, web is quite interesting for another application it has in Baldur's Gate 3, besides restraining enemies. So, imagine that you forgot to memorize your Featherfall spell for your friend. You cast web, and it protects your friend from falling. As it can be seen here, zero damage taken. Who's your friendly neighbor now? Thank you for watching, fellow wizard, and may magic be with you.